Some 70,000 delegates are attending the United Nations COP28 climate change conference. Politicians, scientists, campaigners advocating a myriad array of interests and ideas. But the focus appears to be narrowing on a key question. Do we need to ban fossil fuels outright? Coal, oil and gas are blamed for much of global warming, but are also the driving force behind many economies, including that of summit host United Arab Emirates. The latest figures show 2023 is expected to be a record-breaking year for global carbon dioxide emissions. The growing emissions year on year uh, are uh, responsible for climate change. And as long as they're not brought down to zero, uh, then uh, the warming is going to continue. Research from a coalition of environmental groups suggests more than 2,400 delegates at COP28 are connected to fossil fuel industries. This is uh, seven times larger than indigenous people's delegation and four times a four times increase from last year's uh, 636 uh, delegates who are lobbyists from the fossil fuel industry. Scientists say greenhouse gas emissions need to be slashed by 43 percent over the next six years. But current trajectories suggest emissions will actually rise by 9 percent over that same time span. And that is why at COP28, we need a strong commitment to phase out all fossil fuels, not just coal, not just unabated fossil fuels, but all fossil fuels, including oil, gas and coal. Others say that's unrealistic and fossil fuels will have to be part of the energy mix alongside innovations like carbon markets and carbon capture. Current COP28 president Sultan Al Jaber is also head of the United Arab Emirates state-run oil company, which plans to increase production substantially by 2030. He wants a phasing down of fossil fuels rather than a phasing out, insisting that this is the only way to rein in global warming while allowing for development. Facing a barrage of criticism, the COP president defended his stance Tuesday. I am quite surprised with the constant and repeated attempts to undermine the work of the COP28 presidency and the attempts to undermine the message that we keep repeating when it comes to how much we respect the science. That has done little to placate his critics. We cannot play games designed to protect the obscene profits uh, of these oil and gas petrostates. COP28 has got off to a heated start. Observers say the hosts face a tough challenge to oversee negotiations towards a final declaration, with the spotlight so firmly fixed on the summit president himself. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London. Unfortunately. I have called on parties.